Hello! Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to another Ikoria Draft. Before I dive in, I do want to remind you that if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you would like to catch me streaming live, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Boss. And I want to take a moment to shout out Green Drac, who donated $100 to the stream, saying keep up the good work. I really do appreciate your support, Green Drac. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you a shout out because that was very generous of you and kind, and I really do appreciate it. But, yeah. Let's dive on in. Thoughts on companions in draft? Um, I have drafted three of the companions now. I've drafted Lutri, I've drafted Kahira, I've drafted Yorion, and they were all very, very good. Um, I had a Lurus deck, but it was not with the companion. Lurus was just in the main deck as one of the cards I played. Um, but yeah, they are very good, I think, were Havoc, as long as you're not like... Some of the ones are really hard to do. I think I've also had Gyruda, but not as a companion. Um, I've had the five mana one that's like the odd one i haven't had that one yet but let's get into the pack shall we mythos of vadrock is going to be the pick here this card is fantastic um you can just kind of divide the damage as you choose and it is really quite effective um yeah because you can oftentimes kill two things for your four mana removal spell or kill one thing that's big and if you get the activation ability it's actually quite nice because you can sometimes just kill a couple things swing all out and kill your opponent which is really effective i think after that the second best card in the pack is probably dreamtail heron Though, if, if, this, if I wasn't taking Mythos, I would probably consider just taking Migration Path and trying to draft something sweet and experimenting around, but I think Mythos of Vadrock followed by Dreamtail Heron would be the best two cards in the pack. But Mythos is a very good place to start a draft. And now we get to try something interesting. I like where we're going with this one. Oh, man. This is really sweet. So, I think Avian Oddity is pretty good. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor is also super sweet, and Channeled Force is one that I haven't actually played with. I don't think it's insane, but there's a non-zero chance that it wheels, um, because it is kind of an awkward spell. I think taking Blitz of the Thunder Raptor and then trying to draft like a blue-red spells deck could be really cool. If we don't wheel Channeled Force, we could get uh, Cathartic Reunion to wheel, we could get Gopher Blood to wheel, we could even get like a Frosting to wheel or something like that. I think Blitz is also just a really powerful card, so it's going to lead to a really sweet deck. Um, this card could wheel, this card's probably going to wheel, Go for Blood's probably going to wheel, um, but yeah, I think Mythos, and then following it up and trying to play, like, a spells deck is going to be really fun, and, uh, really cool, and to see how good that archetype really is. So, let's take the Mythos, the Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. There are a lot of cycling cards, there's one cycling card, two cycling cards, I guess that's two, that's not, like, an insane number. But Blitz is going to be a fun one to try and build around, and now, if we're playing a blue red spells deck i think baby godzilla is just going to be a good card no matter what wait why doesn't it have the art disabled graphics not graphics gameplay hide alternate art styles i thought that was the alternate art style i was hiding i guess this one's glitched but i hide most of them because it does leak this is polywog symbiote if you don't know what this is two mana one three makes your mutates cost one less and when you cast a creature spell with mutate you draw a card and then discard i think this is gonna be the pick blue red does have some pretty good mutators and uh, it is just probably the best card in the pack as well. After that, probably Lava Serpent would be the pick, just to stick to red. But I'm really happy I don't have to take Lava Serpent here. Vulpakeets also would be a fine option to take as well. And now we get to take a Boon of the Wishgiver. Frog. Yeah, I wonder why it doesn't hide that art style. Probably just a glitch. But yeah, now Boon of the Wishgiver is a nice follow-up. We really The cheap cycling spells are really good with Blitz because you can get them into the graveyard pretty easily. Um, I like the Migratory Greathorn as well. It's another good card. Um, but we're trying to try the spells deck out, I think. Facet Reader is also a fine option. But I think this card's probably the best card in the pack. And it's probably the second best card in the pack. But we already have a blue card. We already have some like blue-red theme cards. Ooh, Zenith Flower. We are already looking to splash white just because we would occasionally want to activate this ability. So having a Zenith Flare could be a really nice pickup here. Hmm. Yeah, Facet Reader has been an overperformer. There are also just a lot of good blue-red cards here. There's a Rock Slide, Essence Scatter, Of One Mind, Thieving Otter. So maybe we're supposed to just take a blue card. Like I think Essence Scatter is the best card in the pack to take. There's just a ton of good blue. We're sending a weird signals to people near us. I think I kind of just want to commit and just take scatter. I think of one mine's good and rock size also good. We're not going to be trying to go for the blue, the red white spell, the cycling deck. We're just going to take the essence scatter here. And now we get a thieving otter. 
pretty clear thieving otter, I think, over like a, something like a tranquil cove. Um, even though we're going to be a spell attack, we're probably going to have some ways to make this bigger with mutate. And uh, Tranquil Cove, like, sure, if we were splashing, we might take it, but I like just getting Otter. Otter is a really good card. And now, Dranith Stinger oh, or Facet Reader, they're both good. We're not really a cycling deck, though, so I think we'll just give the edge to Facet Reader. Sure, this is a spell as well, but we would just rather get a good two drop. And this card helps us get other spells into the graveyard. This card's also just fine on its own, though. So maybe we are just supposed to take that. We only really want one facet reader, and we can probably get it later. I've been hearing good things about Weaponize the Monsters. I don't think it's really for this deck, but I've heard good things. Very late ram through. We'll probably just take the Evolving Wilds, though. I don't think Blue-Red is the deck that really wants Weaponize the Monsters. Ram through is a pretty good card, but we're trying this Blue-Red deck out, so... We'll take the Evolving Wilds. Take a colorless card. We're not playing keep safe. Cathartic Reunion came back. Also Ram Through. How is Ram Through still in this pack? I guess we'll take Ram Through. We don't need to prioritize Cathartic Reunion. I guess we'll just take some green cards in case green ends up being where we need to be. Like, unbelievably late green cards here. We have hedged our bets. I would like to try the red deck, but red just doesn't look open at all. So I think we're supposed to be playing blue-green in this seat. We're in fine shape. Ooh, last pick Whisper Squad. I'm going to have to look into why my settings don't work, because I like to hide the alternate art. This is Iluna Apex of Wishes. Definitely one we're going to want to take here. Um, we can play it in our blue-red or blue-green deck, and it's just going to be a fantastic card. Um, really good one. After that, we would probably take... Fertilid, Evolving Wilds, or Dranith Stinger, but probably the... Or maybe just the Titanoth Rex. But this is, like, the best possible card to open. And now... Well, this is a pretty good card, but we're not going to take it. I like Of One Mind. I think red isn't going to be our main color. I think we're just going to play blue-green. Because we just have not really seen red. So what do we want to take here? We could take an Of One Mind or a Wolf Bear. We're going to have some humans probably, but not an insane amount. So I think getting Of One Mind is really nice. Evolving Wilds could be good. It's being called Ghidorah, King of the Cosmos. I'm King of the World! So I think Of One Mind is just going to be really good. Humble Naturalist is probably second place here. Helps us splash our Luna. Helps us get our Bristling Boars on time. I do like getting card draw, though. Eh, I think we're going to take the Naturalist. Because we do have two Bristling Boars that we're playing right now. Archipelago are unbelievable. This is such a good card. I Honestly, every time this card gets packed, picked, it's nuts. We just don't have a ton of humans. And I've found that I tend to not have an insane amount of humans. Archipelago is great. After that, we would take Dreamtail Heron and then Fertilid. Deck looks closer and closer to just... Insane shenanigans. Okay, now we get an Essence Scatter over Thornwood Falls. And then after the Thornwood Falls, I would take the Horn Bash Mentor. But I really just like getting cheap interaction like Essence Scatter. This is premium. We have successfully transitioned archetypes. There's a Cloud Piercer, which we're not going to take. We'll just take Gust of Wind. It's a good tempo play, even without flyers. We'll probably end up with a couple flyers at least. Hmm. We're not going to splash double red card. We don't have enough spells really for Blitz. Though we could consider splashing that if we get enough fixing and stuff for free. But we're not going to prioritize fixing right now. And now there's another Evolving Wilds. 
Like, this is a very low impact pick. Like, sure, we could take a Frost Veil Ambush. But we don't really mind giving up on that. We could take a Night Bonder. But here we just get a pretty free Evolving Wilds. Now we get that Facet Reader. I knew we wouldn't have to prioritize it. We get this one pretty late. Fully Grown would be the next pick in this pack. And then probably Spring Jaw, because we're never playing two Adaptive Shimmers. Probably not going to play the first one, to be quite honest. And we get a third Evolving Wilds. We probably... I'm not sure we'd play three Evolving Wilds in the same main deck. But having three means we can splash. So if we get a color card that we really want to splash, we can just play this Evolving Wilds. And we have four Evolving Wilds. Again, I'm not sure I'd play all these, but they're relatively free to take here. We get the Wolf Bear back. It's actually going to be playable now that we have the Facet Reader and the uh, Humble Naturalist. Because that actually turns those into relevant cards. And now we get a Fully Grown. I don't mind playing one of those. But yeah, four Evolving Wilds. We're really flexible here. We can pretty much play any card we want that we open. I could definitely see Splashing Black. Oh, yeah, Thornwood Falls is great. Definitely taking it over Bristling Boar. Yeah, we can take an off-color rare very easily now. We'll play take a Wilt. Our deck is looking great. Yeah, I'm excited to see what we open in pack three. We can't really splash a double-colored card. Like, we probably like could, but I don't think it would be worth it. But our mana is going to be really good in this deck. We're not going to play four Evolving Wilds if we're a two-color deck. Don't worry about that. We'd probably play one of them, or maybe two. But we can already splash red for a Luna if we really want to. Play a five-mana 6-6 six, six Trampler. Depending on how many spells, maybe we could splash Blitz. Well, I don't know how I get so lucky, but it definitely feels great. <laughs> Because now we splash red just 100%, because getting this activated ability on this is really nice. I mean, the, the bonus ability, because then you can get the fight, and we're already trying to get the the um, Illuna to work. Primal Empathy, unfortunately, we can't take. We would have been really thrilled with that. But it, Mythos of Illuna is just amazing. Yeah, Empathy's good, but Ilu Mythos of Illuna is better. Copying Archipelago or Sandworm or Illuna, or... I mean, I guess we wouldn't copy Illuna because it's legendary. Or Wolf Bear or Bristling Boar, really anything. This pack has a, like, we would go Mythos, then not Empathy, then we might even just take the Door Rat, which is the Sprite Dragon. I don't know why it won't disable the artworks, but we got our Mythos of Aluna here. And then we can, we're not taking another Evolving Wilds here. Probably just taking Survivor's Bond. We have, how many humans? Facet Reader, Naturalist. Wolf Bear is a Wolf Bear, if that makes sense. We don't have a ton of humans here. We could take pacifism, but I think we're just going to splash red. Keep it safe. We're just going to take migration path, I think. And now... Just an essence symbiote, probably. How many mutates do we have? We have... One, two... We only have two mutate creatures, so maybe we don't want to prioritize the symbiote. Maybe we'd rather get, like, a Farfinder. Let's just take Blood Curdle. Get a premium removal spell. We can splash it very easily. And then, like, yeah, I don't mind missing a Farfinder. We'll take a premium removal spell here. There's another land if we want it. we we'll just take an Otter. I like Otter. I don't think we're need to gonna, gonna really worry about our lands here. We have five lands right now, so we do want some spells. Otter is a pretty good card. We could also just take the Rugged Highlands, keep our mana really good. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take the Highlands. I've changed my mind. And now Great Horn's amazing. Yeah, Apex is good even just mutating it once, but yeah. I'm going to get a Great Horn here pretty much for free, which is nice. I wouldn't mind a Backwater, but obviously going to just take the, the Mutate fixing. 
And now Adventure's Impulse or Lava Serpent. Impulse helps me find my like great heavy hitters a little bit easier, so I think I'm just going to take that. Of One Mind or Greater Sandworm. Hmm. Probably the Sandworm. I already have some pretty expensive cards though. So Of One Mind can just be a nice card draw engine. I'm not going to take the Cliffs, I just want good spells here. How many 2 drops do I have? I have enough 2 drops. I'm just going to take the Of One Mind. It's going to be a really good draw spell in my deck. Probably better than Otter. Now I'll take Ambush and not play it. Fully Grown and not play it. Survivor's Bond is probably a solid one. Maybe not the best, though. There's just no bigger humans. Well, that's a lucky... I can't believe this. Wait, what? How is all these cards still in the pack? There is Farfinder, Thieving Otter. I'm just gonna take the Symbio, I think. And no, I can't. Do, I can't. I have to take the Farfinder. Farfinder so good. Oh, I really like Symbio though. We just have a lot of two drops, so we're fine on that count. Okay. Bell would be pretty solid with the mutators. Hide the styles. Yeah, it just isn't working right now, I guess. Okay, so we're not going to play the Shimmerer. This is probably like a three drop a lot of the time. We're going to play one Swamp. And one mountain, perfect. We have six tap lands. Five, six, seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, seventeen. That seems fine. I think Otter's great, but I think Wolf One Mine's gonna be a more reliable card draw. How many spells do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'll play Blitz. Cut a Bristling Boar. Cut a second Bristling Boar. Hmm. I could play Blitz Leech. Wouldn't be the worst. But I don't think it's worth splashing. Wolf Bear. Yeah, Wolf Bear could be cut. I do have two humans that are, are make it pretty good. And I think that's enough, probably. Uh, my, migration Path might need to be cut. Like, it might just be worse than, like, a Frostvale Ambush. Or, like, a Survivor's Bond. Survivor's Bond is not good in my deck, though. I think Wolf Bear is the limit of human, non-human synergies I want to go to. So, huh. so let's see on my cuts. I think I want to run Wilt. Wilt is just good when you have big creatures. Oh, I want to make sure I run Baby Godzilla. Good call. Excellent call. Hello, Cross. Boom. Okay. So I think Adventurous Impulse is fine. How many creatures do I even have? Ten. Yeah, I'm going to cut Adventurous Impulse. Four. Another Bristling Boar. And I'll cut Migration Path for a Bristling Boar, maybe. Hmm. I think one Fully Grown is good. Could play the Shimmerer, which isn't the worst. Not the best, though. Hmm.
what do I want here? So I still have for my blitz. I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's still good enough. And how many creatures do I have now? Eleven creatures, twelve non-creatures. Yeah, this should be good. I have good interaction. All I would be playing is more boars. So yeah, this deck seems good to me. Let's just double check our color requirements. Yeah, I think one more island is probably correct. Especially because Rugged Highlands is a green source. Yeah, that's going to do it for the build. I'll see you folks in the matches. Ah. Before I get to the matches, I want to take a brief moment to shout out all of my patrons over at patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas, especially those who support at the credits level. And I do want to say that if you've been enjoying my content and are looking for a way to give back, even a dollar a month get unlocks some pretty cool rewards and helps me continue making high quality videos on a consistent basis. So for more information, be sure to check it out at patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas. But without further ado, let's get to the matches. A good hand here. Two drop, three drop, Archipelago in the future. Facet Reader can get rid of extra lands. I think this is a really key card in our deck, having one of those. We'll get another island for sure. We have a ton of... We have so much fixing, it doesn't really matter. I think we will not trade with this. We'll trade with the Farfinder in the future. Maybe not. Our hand is probably pretty fine without the faster return. I think we'll just trade. It's not like we have like six lands here. They just make it into a 2 2. Luna takes double blue, I believe. I'm just checking. Yeah, double blue, so we're gonna get an island. We'll threaten the double block. I guess I got a swamp. No need, we'll just take two. Sure, boot nipper. I should have got my swamp now that I think about it. <laughs> I forgot I had swamps in this deck. Island would definitely be second best. Though maybe Island's just better. So I can like double spell at some point. Yeah, true. It's not going to be a huge deal. It might look weird that we're like turning the corner on them here, but we can loot away a card with our facet reader. We're going to play our archipelago next turn. on our far finder. <laughs> mm. 
We're definitely playing the Archipelago. The question is, would we rather have Blitz or Boon? I think I'd rather have... I'd rather have a deal three or a draw spell. I'd rather have the deal three. Yeah, ram through is absurd. Like, now they'd have to play multiple blockers, because, like, I can probably kill most of them for two mana. But yeah, see you folks in the next round. Welcome to round two. I did cut Migration Path for another Bristling Boar. This is a pretty clear mulligan. This is a good hand, though. Keep and get rid of Blitz, for sure. Gonna get an island with his Evolving Wilds. Oh, they have Lutri. Gosh darn it. I don't think I've beaten Lutri yet. I'm 0-3, I think, against it. <laughs> Grudge match. Got him. That is fine for me, buddy. So we can go Bristling Boar into a Luna. Oh, no, actually, we can go Great Horn into a Luna. Oh, this is six mana. Just going to cast it. Yeah, it's really fun too. It leads to some really cool decks. I'll probably probably play the Great Horn. Block me. Make my day. Heck yes. Lord Rackus probably would have ended up being pretty sweet in our deck, yeah. Or like, at least pretty good, yeah. I think I took like an Evolving Wilds over it. No regrets. Hmm. <laughs> Which card do I want to keep more? Probably this guy. Could rather mutate onto him. Oh dear. That could end badly for me. I think it's worth it to get a mountain here. Because I can just cast the Aluna. I don't even have to mutate. I get to put a non-land permanent into play. I have some pretty good ones to get.
I would have kept both, but they would have had their 1-4. I don't know, you're right. Probably better to keep the other guy around. I don't know, I just like kind of getting rid of their board while I stall. Let's see what we got here. Looks like they might be holding up Essence Scatter. I just don't really mind trading. Sure, they can Essence Scatter this. I'm fine with that. I really don't mind trading. The opponent was really good at getting Is It Gold cards. I don't think we can complain. We opened a Luna. I also kind of like 3-4, I think subconsciously better than 4-3 against red decks because of the 2-mana deal 3. Ah, uh, the sorcery speed Lutri. I understand now. We can play this and hold up Essence Scatter. Or we can play this. I feel like we're gonna get a pretty good permanent off this, so I'm gonna mutate. Get our swamp. Like, that's pretty good. Like, we have a couple... We have, like, another Bristling Boar in the deck, I think. No, maybe we only have that one, but... We have, like, a Greater Sandworm, an Archipelago. We have good options. <sighs> what are they going to get back? Go for blood. So they can cycle it. We take our licks. That was a good top deck. I'm not going to lie about that one. That was pretty primo. We set that up, though. We got that swamp with our Luna. We're playing Teamer. Rumble Bunnies. It was actually a pretty cool draft because we started off trying to play Red Blue and then we just took a bunch of green cards. But yeah, that's another win. I'll see you folks in the next round. Round three. We have our Double Evolving Wilds start, as expected, on the draw. Definitely keeping this hand. It's got some really powerful stuff going on. We're going to get an island first and then probably a mountain.
We really want to essence out of here. Any advice for my Cory to win much? Um, I don't know. Make sure you draft like decks rather than just like random cards. Have like an overall plan that you're trying to go for. I think now we get mountain. This guy can now kill something, which is nice. Draw land. Eh, not the end of the world. Hundred percent killing that. I thought they were holding up removal. Sure. Let's see what they take. Yeah, we first picked that sad boy flex. We first no, we didn't first pick the mythos of Aluna, we first picked the mythos of Vadrock. We got Mythos of Luna a little bit later. This is actually fine for us, because we have so many cards. Yeah, that's fine. I think we just get Swamp here. Definitely getting punished by our mana right now, but what can you do? It happens. Oh, that's actually okay. Of the cards they could have had that kills our guy, that, that's one of the better ones. We're actually totally fine with that, because we can get a Mythos of a Luna copy. Sure. That probably means they have a burn spell of some kind. But if they don't, we're totally going to win. I think we're probably dead. They know we have ram through. Let's just kill it. Use our mana. Oh, we only have six. Sure. Like, we die to Zenith Flare if they ever have that card. I mean, Simic and Zoltai are just so easy to get into. I think pretty much whatever's open is good, though. Okay. I'm glad we went with the bounce play. That worked out a lot better. We did potentially give them another draw for their out. And now we have Archipelagor. Okay, 
Get rid of naturalist over, obviously. Tap this guy. What hasters are there? There's the 5-5. Five, five. I guess they're dead in two turns either way. That's not the worst. The game land actually coming in clutch. Got him. <laughs> Whoo, that was kind of scary for a bit, but we got there. Despite our many tap lands. We have met a worthy foe in Diamond, finally. Using the Fibblethip avatar. I will say, Fibblethip being a card made me a lot better at pronouncing Fibblethip. One thing I think I just realized is that I really don't play black decks a lot in this format. It's like a pretty rare thing for me. So they could be white, so we're going to hold on to this wilt for a little bit. I think we'll just loot this turn, we'll probably loot away the fully grown. We don't need a forest. Yeah. I also had another deck asteroid down that I had audio issues on that I couldn't record because of him, but... Okay, yeah, this is great. I don't mind about missing land drops here because I have so much stuff to do. So much to do, so much to see, so what's wrong with taking the back streets? That's kinda sad if you don't know. I'm a little bit disappointed that my guy died. It's so sad. Now that it looks like they're a black-red deck, I don't mind getting rid of Wilt. I am fine with this outcome. They used Fire Prophecy on my 2-drop. I mean, it's not like a mana disadvantage for them, but like... Gonna pitch fully grown, it makes my blitz a little bit better. And now we're just like. Yeah, we're in great shape. We have double blue source, double green source, we can get our red source now. 
If this guy's ever a huge issue, we can just kill him. Actually, relatively low, all things considered. Whew. That's actually so good for me, because I can stop all their mutators. Oh my gosh, what a draw. I should have tapped my humble naturalist. But now I can block Blitter's Bistri Bl 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 the Gremlin. <laughs> I almost tried to do a Porky Pig impression there. The joys of playing control. Oh, buddy. That was cute. Nice try. We'll make them chump with their blister spit, gremlin. Or oh, we draw a card. Oh, yay, we draw a card. We'll hold this forest in case they have another mutator. Like the 4 4 that makes us discard. Yep, yep. Come, come. Here comes the otter! Oh, it's weaker than a lot of cards. <sighs> like, it's a weaker version of, like, Thermo Alchemist, which was such a sick card. I wish they brought reprinted Thermo Alchemist. I loved Eldritch Moon so much. I don't know why, but that was, like, one of my favorite sets. Probably because it was, like, a really good set for me. I, like, did a lot I won a lot in that set. So this thing has Double Strike now. So we only have like four lands left in this deck. Oh my gosh, really? Yep, I like that tapping. I'm actually really afraid of the Wolverine, so I'm just going to kill it now. Especially because I now have Blood Girdle. I can copy their cards with Mythos. It's any permanent. Well, goodbye Evolving Wilds. We hardly knew ye.
Oh, we have the combo. This, and then we can give it Menace. So now it's unblockable. I should have saved the Blood Curdle probably, and then used Mythos to just kill their guy, and just use Mythos as a kill spell. That would have been way better. But they have to find a creature and a kill spell for Bristling Vore. So I don't think they can do that. Otter has stolen so much! It's so good. Our deck is great. Boom! I think we're in Diamond 3 now. Oh, the ranking up is real. We're actually really close to Mythic. Like, we'll probably get there before the end of the month, which is cool. But yeah, I'll see you folks in the next round. This is another great hand. We'll keep it. We can get our island. Then we have a bunch of blue two drops. The 1-3 can probably block a lot of the cards they could have, and I don't mind taking a turn off to get my stuff rolling. That was a good draw. This also gets me my green mana, which is great. We would counter a stiff breeze. If it came through. We're in no rush. We'll just hold up Essence Scatter again. Normally we would be fine with the waiting to cycle, but we do have a lot of, um, like, cards that, like, come in tapped. So we would rather do the land thing on our turn. We'll counter that. They probably have something better, but we're not going to wait around to see what they have. Oh, I could have just played a Luna. That was horrible. I totally forgot I could just cast it. My bad. 6-6 six, six Trample beats 4-3 every time. Unless, of course, I'm trying to bait out a uh, Blood Curdle, like a genius. Nightbonder, eh? Next level plays, folks. That's what you get from the channel. Just Nikolai doing Nikolai things. I mean, it's a 4 mana 6-6. Six, six. That has inherent value. Well, that was a cool animation. Are they going to sacrifice their guy? Kill it. Sure, Jay Collier. Yeah, they just kill it. So that was a two for one. Just posted like an Imgur link, Jay Collier, to like a screenshot of it using like the snip. No, because it costs one more to do that. I think we're just going to kill this thing now. And now we have our Blitz up. Blitz is really good. 
We're a blue-green deck splashing Blitz because it's so good. You may wonder why are we playing this instead of the Wolf Bear, and that's because Blood Curdle makes this guy like unblockable, which is a really sweet combo. I'm not going to attack now. I messed up. I should have attacked first. But I did not, and therefore I must suffer the consequences of not being able to attack them for one. <laughs> yes! Vindicated! Oh my gosh, that's so satisfying. Oh, that's so satisfying. They have a couple of removal spells, I think. Okay. We're copying this one because if they want to stop this from resolving, they have to kill the one that's already killed. Nope, it's just when you cast it. Uh, we'll fight this guy. Bristling boar to the rescue! I'll check it out after this round. Um, they're hitting me for five. Sure. We have Blitz. Oh, no, we don't have Blitz Plus. Yeah, we do have Blitz Plus fully grown. We're not going to go for fully grown. We don't need to. They have something here. There's no way they don't. Perfect. Yeah, that's fine tapping. If we needed to, we could have done the plus three plus three and then blitzed it as well. But that was lethal. I actually didn't do the math in my head there. It just kind of happened to work out. Like, I was pretty sure it was lethal. And I just kind of didn't think I needed to do the math. But it ended up being exact -sies. But yeah, that's going to do for that round. I'll see you in the next one. Welcome to round six. I don't know. Something like that. Another great hand. Farfinder is going to be great. We're going to get a... I think... Mountain. We do need one more blue source at some point. We can go Otter into Great Horn, which could be nice. Otter just puts a lot of pressure on them, like, yeah. I think we're going to get a swamp here. Then we're going to fetch up the island. And then we're going to try to mutate this onto our otter. That's fine. Yeah, the deck does look really strong, Jake you. We did have our shields down for a moment, but not going to be punished here. We'll get another island. We'll just do this because it's mana efficient. It gives us a good blocker. Gets a land out of our deck. Ramps us a little bit. 
Let those ultibats and scatter. There's a lot of reasons to do that, rather than, like, getting super greedy. The otter plus a loon is going to be really good next turn. Yeah, I don't care about that at all. I'm going to try to stabilize first. It's also just the most mana efficient play. Because I'm not sure I want to attack. Even though I'm hitting them for a lot. And drawing bonus cards. I guess Aluna does put a permanent into play. Which isn't to be underestimated. Whew. They don't have any four powered creatures yet for this land, which is nice. The other cool thing is if we draw a land, we can hold up our... And we draw uh, specifically an island, we can hold up Apex. Okay, so it looks like they have a four powered creature or something. Looks like they're splashing blue. Okay, so now they get to draw their card. I don't have any artifacts or enchantments, so we're fine. They just get to get a bonus land. Let's see what permanent we get. If I draw an island, it works out perfectly, otherwise it's fine. They are black. I probably should have held that. I can still get rid of Wilt, though. Yep. I'm pretty fine with them playing most creatures here. I guess... Them getting like another lurker would be kind of bad, but I think getting the Aluna going is now correct because we have the board stalled. Mm -hmm. Feels bad, man. Can't really do much about that though. It's gonna happen. Now we're in a little bit of trouble because they do have this land in play, so land's gonna do work. <laughs> wow, that's a real bummer. But we have most of our lands out of our deck now, so we're going to be drawing a lot of gas. I 
almost every land out of our deck. I think we literally only have one land in our deck, other than like an Evolving Wilds. So Evolving Wilds actually only has like one thing to fetch. I guess we have a couple dual lands. You gotta be kidding me, really. I think that's our last basic. 11. Yeah, that was our last basic land. Really just a bummer there. Oh, this is awkward. we draw a blood curdle, this guy becomes unblockable, which is nice. That was just three really bad draws in a row. Where we drew, drew land, 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 I think. So we have three lands left in the deck. The rest is spells. They are drawing two cards a turn, but they will now deck before us, which is nice. Because the board does look pretty stalled. We'll prevent the mutators rather than the mutate carers. There's a card. It does put us behind in the decking race, but we do not care about that. And there's a card. We're going to keep holding up our essence scatters, but... Next turn's gonna be a big turn. We can end step this blood curdle, kill this thing. Yeah, we do not we're not losing in the card race, at least now. And then we can untap Mythos, copy this, kill this. So like this is gonna be the turn where they maybe go for some stuff. And double oh yeah. They got two spells off that. They're not there's no way they take a land over this. But it's good to know that they did not have unlikely aid. On their end step, we'll use Blood Curdle to make a Bristling Boar unblockable. Okay, so they are close to decking as well. We have the same. They have fewer cards in deck than us, which is really good. They only have four cards in hand. Sure. We don't care about Giraffid. It can't get past a seven-seven, can it? Yeah, we care about that. Now's where they maybe mutate. As long as we have this backup one. Okay.
I'm gonna kill that one. It's the scariest one by far. Okay. Put a menace counter on our boar. Kill this thing. We still have the one that can bounce a token. They can block that. They can't really block that. This guy's unblockable. So they have to like jump this or they're dead next turn. And then we can hold the best and scatter for this guy. Even if they somehow kill this, we have three more blockers. <sighs> Maybe I should have played the Thornwood. No. Yeah, I guess I don't need the facet reader. I should have played it. That extra life could matter. Because they have three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So if they somehow give everything on their team unblockable, <laughs> yeah, it's not going to matter. This land was so clutch for them. It was like the only reason they were still in the game. Yeah, that thing doesn't stop our bristling boar. And we have two of these things. It might have been correct to mutate under the greater sandworm. Just to get an, make it an 8 8 so I couldn't attack through it, but yeah. I don't think that, that. That probably actually isn't correct just because they can make this to like a 5 5 or something. Literally useless. This guy's unblockable. This is game. If they can't kill this, which I don't think they can for two mana, they have to have ram through. Um, I now that I have my stream has been growing out of getting a lot of follower things. Um, I think it might get a little disruptive, so I turned the sound off for the follow one. Not that I don't appreciate all the people that follow, but um. Yeah, it it gets disruptive because like now my I went I used to get like maybe two followers a stream or something like that. It's it's still like very hyped to get followers and stuff. Don't get me wrong, but now that I uh, maybe get like ten, it just can get disruptive and stuff. So I turned the follow music off so I can focus more. But I, and I'm gonna thank all my the new follows at the end. The price of fame asteroid don't down the price of fame. Well, that's gonna do it for that round. I'll see you in the next one. Welcome to what is hopefully the final round. We have a unbelievable hand. This hand is fantastic. Polywog Symbiote into Great Horn. Don't mind if I do. And we're against a white deck and we have our Wilt already. I think I messed up. I should not have played Evolving Wilds. Because now I have to get Island. Which I don't really want to do. It's not going to matter that much, but I should not have done that. I should just play my Thornwood Falls. My dance never got a follower. Yeah, I have the same stuff, like the same music and stuff for, um... But it's for, it's the same music for like subscribers and donations and stuff. It's just going to happen a little less often. It will make it more special.
Um, let's get rid of island, maybe. Now we want lands. Um, let's get rid of fully grown. I forgot I was getting a land off the Great Horn. I should have just got rid of the. Um, it's a free attack for them. I'm not going to let them get away with it. Let's go get our swamp. We have a lot of card draw in our hand. Aw, sad day. Pateki tiger, you monster. Tiger. Bad guy. We're not going to cycle Wilt because they could easily have pacifism, and they probably do. We're just taking three a turn for now, so we're fine. We can kill that with the Blitz. Well, we're good on lands. That is the right attitude to have, Sad Boy Flex. I like it. That's the attitude I always like to have. It's the, well, at least we can cast all of our spells type deal. Well, not the greatest, but not the worst. We don't have anything too good. They're going to get rid of Of One Mind, probably. Oh, they don't. Well. Interesting. Faster Reader's going to be way better than Otter right now. Otter's never getting through, but Faster Reader draws us an extra card every turn pretty much. Um, this is my last draft of the day, but I will be posting a draft video that I did with Ben Stark right after I finish streaming. So I'm going to be ending the stream and then working on the upload, which will probably almost it's it's all the video is already like there. I just need to do a little bit work of, of work, um, like making thumbnails and stuff. We drew Facet Reader to get rid of some of our lands, so our deck likes us. Now we have a nice target. We have do we have an archipelago in this deck? I feel like we do. I feel like we always have an archipelago. Maybe their protect the Pategia plan was actually legit. Oh yes! Oh baby, we saved this wilt for so long. They know we have it, so they must have like a pacifism or something. Or they have a way to get this back.
Yes. Calculated. Absolutely calculated. I'm going to stop using my facet reader probably because I don't know if I have any lands left in my deck anyway. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I have two lands left in my deck. So maybe I will keep using him. Perfect. Why does it want to tap my swamp? I'll put that into play. I'm fine doing some weird trades here. Well, that was a sick draw. Is this a comeback? I don't know. I wonder why they didn't block this in any way. <laughs> Boom! My opponent doesn't even need to see the archipelago. Oh, yes. That was a stretch combined with like a victory wings of flight. Boom! Got the old W. That sweet, sweet victory. 7-0. This is our deck, just absolutely fantastic. We opened that Aluna second pack. We, we really started off blue-red and then transitioned pretty well. So that is going to do it for this draft. If you did make it all the way to the end, in the comment section down below, leave hashtag board stall champion to let me know you made it all the way to the end of the video because I did win quite a few board stalls, especially there at the end in those final two rounds. So board stall champion to let me know you made it all the way to the end. Remember to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment in the comment section down below. You can even click that bell so you get notified when I post videos. If you would like to uh, check out this Twitch stream, you can find it at twitch.tv slash Nikolai Bolas. Be sure to join our Discord server. It's free for everybody. The more the merrier. It is really a great spot to talk about all things magic, get opinions on your decks, etc. There will be a link to that in the description and pinned comment below. Also, you can support me directly via the Patreon, patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas. That is going to do it for this draft, though. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you next time.